Unless your job title is full-time influencer, I highly recommend that you meal prep every single weekend. Been doing it for many years, and what I can tell you is it is the most effective way to stay on track with your eating. Because if you work in corporate America like myself, you know just how busy the work week can get, and you don't have the autonomy to just sit there and make fresh food every single day whenever you're hungry. So having this available is gonna ensure that you eat the right types of food and not give yourself any excuses. And the biggest tip that I have for meal prep is don't overcomplicate it. Life is hard enough, you don't need to overcomplicate your food. All I'm making here is three pounds of ground beef. It's not fancy, it's not some elaborate recipe, but it's quick and it will ensure that I have the food that I need when I need it. And while that's cooking up, I will go ahead and cut my pineapples. I cut four pineapples every single week. It is kind of a pain, but it's a great value. It's eight bucks at Aldi for all of these. And when it comes down to it, if you have this available, you'll probably opt for this. But if you don't, if they're still in the, is it shell, is that what it's called? You're probably just gonna grab a Snickers bar instead. So you might as well put yourself in a good position, have it ready to go, so you force yourself to make a good decision. Then I'll just go ahead and throw some vegetables in the microwave. So in about 30 minutes, I have food made up for the week. We have got the three pounds pounds of ground beef. I eat this for lunch every single day with some green beans. Again, very simple, but also very effective. I always end it with one of my favorite foods, pineapple. This stuff is like crack to me. And then earlier this morning, I went ahead and made my egg bites for breakfast, which I have a full video on how to make these, uh, which you can see right now. And I'll also link it down below. One cook, one clean, fast and easy. Now I am ready for the week. Good morning, it is 4 a.m. This is gonna be the first thing that I have every single day, probably the most important thing as well. It's my favorite way to start my days. I'll have my pea science greens, I'll have my reds and my blues, I'll have creatine as well as my pea science electrolytes. Now you guys can use code Travis to save 10% on anything pea science related, but this just gives me the natural energy that I need to wake up in the morning since I don't have caffeine first thing, and ultimately it just makes me feel great. I had to recommend one supplement stack, that would be it. I'm also gonna have a banana, just for a little bit of food, a little bit of extra energy, just to get me through my workout. Griffin up some breakfast. He loves these organic chicken sausages. Actually, the whole family does. These things are great. We buy from Costco. Very affordable and also great ingredients. So definitely recommend this. And then just made him up a little hot oatmeal as well. I don't know, to me, this is a little bit runny, but that's the way he likes it. So we'll go with it. And Alfredo, of course, getting farmer's dog every single morning. Would you like dessert, buddy? Of course you would. Get you a little treat. I love you. How does it feel to be a prince, Griffy? <laughs> In a bit of a rush this morning. Thankfully, I've already got my breakfast prepared. I'll have four of these egg bites that I made over the weekend. Absolutely love these. Not only does it only take 40 seconds to heat up in the microwave, but also it only takes about 50 seconds to eat completely. So it makes the morning very efficient. Had I not had this, I would have had to opt for something that's not so ideal in terms of nutrition. Oh, and by the way, they are absolutely delicious. So quick mid-morning break here. I'm gonna be having a PE Science Versa Energy. They finally came out with their own energy drinks. And this is gonna be the first time I try this flavor, Mandarin Orange. And I've gotta say with the other two flavors, the cherry and the raspberry, it has blown my mind. They are so, so good. 125 milligrams of caffeine, which is perfect in my opinion. But if it tastes like crap, it doesn't even matter. 
See, I love orange drinks. So for me, this might be my favorite. It's either this or the cherry, but hold on. This is one of the best tasting energy drinks I've ever had. And I try not to drink many energy drinks. Typically it's just a second cup of coffee, but given that this does have much cleaner ingredients than other products on the market, I don't feel as bad. It's one of my vices. I love caffeine, energy drinks specifically because it tastes so good. Inevitably, I probably will be drinking one or two. No, I won't drink two a day. I'll probably be having one a day for the foreseeable future, but definitely check these out. Again, Coach Travis saves 10% on anything PE science. You guys would love this. So it is 11.51, my next call is at noon and I'm on calls until 2.30, so I need to find something to eat really quickly. Luckily, I have prepped ahead, kind of the uh, theme of this video, so we're gonna do that really quick. I think I just said quick like a thousand times, but forgive me, we're moving fast over here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these two containers right here, ground beef and green beans, and heat them up. Bada boom, bada bang. Okay, you know what, I'm feeling crazy, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this balsamic to it, really, just so I can eat it a little bit faster. Why does it look so, you know what, that does not look good. I'm gonna skip out on that. Usually try to give myself a little bit more time than this, but very busy season of work, of life, of just everything in general, but wouldn't have it any other way. And then as always for dessert, we are gonna be having some delicious pineapple that I chopped up over the weekend. Thank goodness I did, because if not, I'd be really, really hungry. I'm of the belief this is plenty of sauce. I just want to taste the meat. I don't need a whole lot of sauce. Camera wife, All right. that is, that is that's probably too much. Use the muscles. You've been at the gym, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Guess this is why you married me. No big deal. <sighs> Such a man. She's about to ruin. Ruin the entire this pasta. Oh my what? God. That, hold on, that is so much sauce. It's gonna be so saucy. <laughs> So saucy, but the great part about this dinner is gonna be the fresh made sourdough that Megan makes. Hello, my precious child. Hey, Griffin, you know, you don't let me record and you also don't let me wear this microphone, so it makes recording quite challenging, but you're worth it. But as I was saying, Megan's freshly made sourdough with Kerrygold's butter, a little garlic salt in the oven, perfection. Every Tuesday in this household is pasta night. Griffin's excited and we look forward to it every single day, Tuesday. And this is why I love pasta night. And by the way, polar water is the best water in the entire world. We've tried them all, this is the greatest. Hey, somebody else that likes pasta. That is a big boy. The entire family loves pasta night. Now, usually towards the end of the night, I will start to crave something sweet. So typically what I'll have, I actually got it right here, is my Pea Science protein powder. It's the best tasting protein in the entire world for sure. And it also doubles as a tripod, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but I usually all mix that with maybe some Greek yogurt or just have it as a shake, but it helps curb the sweet tooth, get some extra protein. It's a win-win at the end of the night. But today was very representative of a normal day in the diet for me. Now, dinner's are rotating every Tuesday we have pasta, Wednesday is salmon and vegetables, Thursday is brinner. So for us just to keep things consistent uh, for things that we like, that we know that are easy to make throughout the week, and that we all enjoy eating together. And then during the days, I'll eat things that Megan probably don't want it, doesn't want to eat, like green beans and plain ground beef. But it works for me. So the premise of the video is really, no matter how busy your schedule is with work and family and kids and, and all of the other excuses that we have not to eat the right things, I actually think that those are the reasons we should be eating the right types of foods to fuel our bodies appropriately. It just takes a little bit of prepping in advance. Like I said, over the weekend, it took me 40 minutes and uh, that pays huge dividends throughout the week and ensures I stay on track. So let me know what you guys think of this type of video. If you like it, please leave the like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and I look forward to talking to you next time. Have to put that in as a blooper at the end.